What is up, YouTubers, and welcome back to part 20. Fuck. <laughs> I just failed part 20. It's, it's, it's Crystal Version, guys, and what is up? And, um, I wasn't like Ecritique City or something, but I actually had to come back and go to Rolling City because we have to take on Misty, the water type gym leader. And I'm pretty sure that she is over here up by the lake where we checked earlier after we defeated all these trainers, but she really wasn't there. But now that the power plant coincidence is fixed, she should be right here. There she is with her boyfriend. And we're all like, what the fuck? Aww, why did you have to show up and bug him now? Do you know that what they call people like you? Pets. You heard me right, Pets. Those badges you have are total gym badges. You must have paid them up to get come as a loin gym. I'm happy to take you on. Well, alright, Misty. Let's do this. So we're gonna go fight and destroy. We're gonna destroy Misty. She has a water type Pokemon that are really easy to kill. Let's get on with the gym. And I'm actually gonna fight every Pokemon. I mean every trainer in this gym because I am trying to get Drake to evolve. And a Seedra. Alright. So, that guy's dead. Alright, Brianna. Dragon Man. Twister for the kill. Level 51, Ancient Speed, Cluster, and that is it. Alright, <laughs> this gym is so like, I, I don't know, Misty's awesome, I love this gym. Golduck and Dragon Breath, and we're gonna hit him with Ancient Speed for the kill. So now we get to battle Misty in her swimsuit, which is just great, guys, this is fucking awesome. On our, let me see, we be would be Erica, would be Sabrina, would be Light Surgeon, would be Cody. So we have four badges, this will be our fifth badge. And all we have left is Brock, the Cinnabar Gym, and the Viridian Gym. So Misty has a Golduck. Very easy to kill. Extreme speed for the win. Dragon Breath. And I'm just gonna end it with another extreme speed. Just because I wanna be sure that I outspeed it. Um, Lapras is coming in, I'm actually gonna stay and try and revive now. Dragon Rage, and Blizzard kills me. So, yeah, Blizzard was like. So, Psychic, Starmie comes in, let's go into Voltage, Thunderbolt, and Quagsire. Quagsire was always the one that's kind of hard, because you can't attack him with electric moves, you have to. And then you have to move over to, like, Grass type moves, because Grass types will, like, destroy the fucking Quagsire. So we get the Cascade Badge, and that is it, that's all we get, we don't get any TM, which kinda sucks. Like, it does suck when you battle a gym, and now it's you have TM. It's fucking bullshit. I think when you beat Bullying, though, you get Fire Blast, which is pretty cool. So basically, what we're gonna wanna do next, guys, is, well, first of all, let's go heal up our Pokemon real quick. Cannot forget to do that. Let's get on our bicycle. Crystal version is the shit. Alright, so we're gonna go to, to Lavender Town. And Lavender Town, the guy should have. Wait, it's the guy that does the Poke Flute, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna have to get the Poke Flute. I already battled these guys. The Poke Flute on the radio so we can wake up Snorlax. And that's very important. There's actually only one Snorlax, too. I think. Is there two Snorlax? Oh, there's only one Snorlax, yeah. There's one Snorlax and it's blocking the Diglett Tunnel. Alright, so here he is. Alright, so I think we might actually have it. We have to check in our Pokemon here. Alright, so I got hope it's on. Damn it, you see? You see, this is what I hate. It's like, oh my god, I totally do not remember how to get the Poke fucking played. No. Oh my god, this is not cool. How do you get the Poke Alright, so let's go back to Mr. 
That's what we talked to that dude right there. Oh my god. Where do we have to go? Guys, I will pause this very quickly and I will come back when I figure out what we're supposed to do. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back. And I'm very sorry for that little wait right there. But it is in here. All you have to do is go in here to the radio tower in Lavender Town. Which is pretty, like, I actually just forgot about it. Like, it was really simple to do. All you have to do is come over here and talk to the guy and he'll give you the XBN card. Which allows you to tune into the um the programs and the XBN upgrade will let you have the um so let me see if it's on here now alright hold on he said something about the XBN upgrade hold on. all right so we have to get the XBN card um which is right here here we go all right so we get the XPN card, EXPN card, and that is what we are going to use to wake up Snorlax. And that's basically what we needed, so now we're going to go south, or down below, hold on, let me see. Alright, alright, yeah, I forgot. As soon as we hit the, um, I'll show you guys. We already battled all these trainers, let me get on my bike just to make things quicker. We're going to go left right here. I'm actually not sure if we actually got all the trainers over here. Nope, we have some new stuff to do. It's like Kermin, Dragon Brown, Execute Dragon Brown, Executor Dragon Brown. Yeah, we got we got some work to do right here. <laughs> we got some work to do here. Alright, so he has a growl. Wow, bro. We well, just have a growl. It's cool, though. Alright, let me go ahead and get off the bike. Alright, so I'm actually, I wanted to battle everybody in here. Alright, so we got Jason, got a Samus. Pro bad, that's kind of cool. Level 52. Um, let's see if there's anybody chilling over here. Yep, there's a tree. It's a berry. And you got a revive right there. So let's go back down. There's, we already battled those guys. There should be a few more in here, though. There's another one. I get Adele, Dragon Breath, Dragon Breath the hell out of this tattoo. Is there one of the guys here? No, that's it. There's only four people. It's it, in, in the old game, it was like huge. But here is the big Snorlax. Let's go ahead and use it. The Poke XBN tune, whatever. That allows us to tune into um, the Kanto ones. So there's places and people. That's the one that like a lot of this, the towns and stuff play. This one's just weird. The um, this one's just kind of weird. Okay, flute. Yes! I wish this Snorlax was blue so bad, but it's not. Like it, it is. I think it is blue, but it's just like navy navy. I don't. It's navy navy blue. And like Pokemon Coliseum and shit, it's like it's it's colored like blue in general. But in those games, they're only um, he's a little blacker. But anyways, I'm just gonna use the Master Ball and for like to save us plenty of time and stuff. Y'all know that in previous episodes, I said I would just put some Master Balls on this game and make things a lot easier for us. So caught a Snorlax, level 50 Snorlax. Um, I'm not going to really give him a nickname, I might use him later on, but Bill calls us, and, um, box up, you have to switch boxes if you want to catch him on okay. So Bill just lets us know that the boxes are filled up, and we are in Diglett Cave now. So Diglett Cave is pretty cool, um, I don't think there's, yeah, like, look, a level fucking 2 Diglett, that's, I think, I remember when there was, like, a, um, level 30, like, big trio you could catch in there back in the day. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me, we honestly need to cut, wow, <laughs> dude gives me a nugget, he's like, I haven't seen anybody in forever, so, oh my god, we have to go back and get somebody with cut, hold on, nope, we can't see, I'll pause it and be right back. 
All right, so now I got somebody with cut yard. We got a scyther, and we're gonna cut the scyther. Always that bug catcher right here. And the Pokemon are really, really, um, like, low level. <laughs> bug catcher Ed has a few high Pokemon there, like, a few And getting through the Diglett Cave is honestly the only way to, um, to get to this part of the game. You have to go through Diglett Cave, and you have to wake up Snorlax, like, you have to do the Radio Sour and Power Plant and shit like that. But you have to do all that before you can advance, so... It's not that cool, but y you have to do it, and it's it ain't really that bad. So now we are in Pewter City, thank God. But I'm not sure if I want to take on Brock today, because I'd rather limit it to a few episodes. Um, a gym per, like, episode, because that just makes it more entertaining when I think about it. But over here, all these buildings are blocked, as in the old games. A lot of things have just been taken out, and I don't think that's that good. Like, I would have left it in, but... A lot of just plain, simple stuff. Nothing really happens at all in Peter except you go in there and you fight Brock. But over here, we have plenty of trainers to battle. Warren is a hero. I'm gonna go ahead and use um, Twister and Dragon Breath to kill that thing. Uh, now my telephone's ringing at my house. Um, hold on, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just like, I accidentally plugged in the space bar too much. Over here, we got another guy chilling right here. Hold on, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, what is up guys? I'm back. The, uh, they, they, my, uh, job just called me to go and to try and make me go into work tonight at 4.45 to close, but I was like, I cannot do that. I work two days, Saturday and Sunday, and Monday would be, like, hard on me for third day in a row, and I have a parade to march in the morning, so I would be fucking dead if I had to march. If I went to work, I mean, I want to, but then again, I, I, I can't. It's just like, way too much work. Especially when they told me to fall out, that's why I really couldn't go. If it was anything else, I've been fine. Though. Um, I think my friend's gonna come over later. That's why I wanted to um make this video for you guys, so have it ready for my friend to so he doesn't get mad at me for not, you know, like hanging out with him, and, like <laughs> staring at the computer, making like, Pokemon Crystal. <laughs> Anyways, Dragon there is very close to evolving. I think we're two levels away. And as soon as it evolves, I'm teaching it fly, and we're gonna fucking fly everywhere instead of walking everywhere. In this game. Thank God it's not like a necessity to fly for it. Because if it was, shit. <laughs> Where's my Charizard at? <laughs> Guys, we're killing some coffins. Slugma is really cool. That is also one of the Pokemon that's new to this game. And I, I actually don't know even where to get a Slugma at. Into my moon. Our rivals here. Wow, I didn't even know our rival was in here. Serious. So we're gonna go for some Dragon Breath. Golbat comes in. Let's go for some speed to kill it. Magneton. We're actually gonna go for a um, what's it called? And no, switch out into Rhythm. We then Vital Throw. Boom. Oh. Alakazam's coming in. We're gonna switch back into Great. Go for the extreme speed. And I was hoping that we killed it again. So we just bite it. Gengar, Psybeam for the kill, and for all of it, it's just going to pretty much get owned by a Psybeam. Um, so, Nizard, you are dead, bro. Asshole. <laughs> yeah. So, he's all mad, because he lost. And in here. Alright. Let me see real quick. There's... Alright, that's the, that's the exit of my moon. I don't wanna go there. Wait, is that the exit of my moon or is it the I think that might be the like the halfway thing or where the where the um, where they are. No, that's 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 definitely the exit. Yeah, Might Moon used to be this huge ass place in blue and red and yellow. And now it's just like a little quick walkthrough in uh this game. You want to come right here and go up and go out. There's a cute little area over here. Um, if you come at night, though, they have like little fairies and shit over there. Um, Poké doll. So there's like a little shop right here. The guy just sells stuff for you. The music is- this is like the only place in this game where the music sounds like this. 
It's a little bitty spot in my moon with the Clefairy. Jump around and stuff, and it's kind of scary. <laughs> but if you come there at night, you can get a Moonstone and a Clefairy and evolve into Clefable, which is really, really cool. Just for your information. And we got a, we got a girl over here. Alright. So, let's see. Other dude. Bird Keeper Hank. Holy shit, Pidgey <laughs> Alright guys, I'm actually gonna pause it and come back when I healed up my Pokemon. So we're back guys, and we're about to battle this girl right here. The other guy had a, like a, like a, uh, a like Pidgeot or something, that was pretty cool. This girl's got a Rapid Dash, that's pretty neat. And up here is like an item that's just kind of chilling right there. And back in the day when the other game was around, this really cave was the best place to be. That is where you get Mewtwo, and that is where this game goes for So, we're gonna go ahead and head back through the Diglett Cave. Um, there's actually a one or two more places that I want to show you guys, and probably next episode we're gonna have to, um, end up taking on two gems in one episode just because that's what we'll have to do, and it ain't bad, it's just, that's what we're gonna have to do. So I'm going to the left, back to Peter City. And um, my Pokemon are pretty healed up. I'm just gonna go ahead and go south now. Cause back this way is where you can go towards Verdian City and Pallet Town. And down here is a little route where the uh, old Verdian place used to be. The Verdian Forest. That's where it used to be. You can find a little handful of items in here, and I'm not really worried. I'm not really worried about them. Just gonna find a few more trainers to battle for my Dragonair to evolve, and I'll come back and grab those items later. Here we go, we got a bug catcher. Bug catcher does an area dude. It's gonna die. And hold on. I think uh, yeah, there's the other one. Yeah. Prepare to lose bug catcher Rob. So they have some bug catchers right here that weren't here in the original game that add to the One more level guys, and we are gonna have a dragon ice. That's gonna be fucking awesome. Viridian City. What do we got here? Oh yeah, there's the guy. Look. That's the guy that in the old days. Maybe like the um the tutorial I get how to catch um how to catch the a Pokemon. Oh, this is where that badass thing is. I'm gonna show you guys, watch. This is the place where they have it. Watch. Right here in Verdian City. Every day you can go in here and challenge it. Watch. This is the shit, guys. Trainer house. Alright, you can battle with the best of the trainers downstairs. Okay. Well, hell. <laughs> I've traveled more than just uh, Cancer region. I beat that dude. Indigo Plateau, just a few people telling you about a few things. Okay. Oh, yes. Welcome to our training hall. Cal is our opponent. Oh, bro, we're... We have the... We have the Jota region too. Megani. Level 50. Finish off with the Dragon Breath. Typhlosion. Dragon Breath. Dragon Breath. Come on, bro. That was so easy, and we get $5,000. So if you go in there. And you have your amulet coin, you can get $10,000 from battling that one trainer. And that's a lot of damn money. That's a lot of money. But now that we've already cut down the tree, I'm actually going to... Where's this going? Alright, so see tells about money. The, um... I'm going to go ahead and deposit Scyther. To take back my Typhlosion. So that's what we're going to do. We have our full team of Pokemon. Pokemon. I will see you guys next episode. Comment, like, and subscribe to me, Andrew Druponish, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.